Hello from the Glass Craft and Bead Expo in Vegas, baby. I am here. I am in Palace for our booth. So I thought I'd show you guys around. So look at this. I've got my little, little sand and my things. I've got my clothes and my beautiful under the sea project using Colours for Earth. And this one that we put out today with our irises, with Colours for Earth enamels in the background and our woodland ones. I'm going to give you a sneak preview of that. Look at that. These are some marini coming your way next week. We've got parrots. Uh, we should have a gecko in there. There's a gecko down there. You know our parakeet, but we've also got cockatoos. Oh no, that's our toucan. We've got cockatoos and parakeets. These amazing, lovely, and moths. Um, jungle marini coming your way. So I just had those on display here. We've got our clothes collection, which we love. Or you're using colors for Earth. That, that um, tutorial went out before. We're gonna come this way. So she does demos, demoing the beautiful thing. I'm going to try and get Paula in here. Please, come and be live. People out there. Great. Pride place here, so please. Turn out, that's looking awesome. So, what I would recommend is that you start out with the kit. So, I'm going to now take you around and show you what's here. So, next year. Tabitha is going to have a booth here. Tabitha and Lauren are going to be here. We're going to try and get Jameson out here to be with me. And um, he's going to be in share a booth with him. And so here, there's decals and his bales. So you've got to book for next year. So I'm going to show you around for this year. We have the wonderful people from DNL Art Glass. Say hello to the folks out there, everyone. So they're here. They've been selling out in Dichroic and they have springers. And it's fantastic. So you can get all your all your good good dichroic here and stringers. Fantastic. What else have you got for sale, guys? Oh, fantastic. So guys, those of you from England, this is a great opportunity. But come to Vegas, have a trip to Vegas. Man, this place is just crazy. The size of it, you're never going to see anything like this. You can come and you can pick up some really good value art um, glass supplies as well. Um, so over here we've got the guys from Oceanside doing their bit, looking great today and they're showing all their, their, their products. They've got a good demo stand over there and they've been doing some great demos. So they're here, look at that beautiful glass. And they can tell you all about the Oceanside products. Um, so past them. Hi guys. <laughs> and what else have you guys got for sale? Everything's been sold. Everything's been sold, so you need to come because we just have these fun happy hour packs in the box. Oh, the handsome gentlemen apparently the handsome gentlemen are not for sale. I've tried <laughs> already. Such a pity. Because you no, know that's I quite like they're, they're cheap and free. <laughs> I quite like a nice handsome American husband. Um, so you've got the amazing gallery of excellence over here. Some super, super great artworks. Ah, look, this one got second place. Totally well deserved. And people's choice. Wow, that's extraordinary. The um, stained glass, we've got the mosaics that got first place. So it's also a great place to come and bring a piece of work and put it in an exhibition. I think it was about 25 bucks um, to put it in, but if you're doing a class, you can put one piece in for free. So that's fantastic. They have so many classes here you can come and do. So the expo is from the, um, the Friday and to the Sunday, today's the last day. What did you get? Yeah. The classes on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, Wednesday, Thursday as well as Friday. And they are packed with so many classes. They had about 800 students here this year. We want to make it over a thousand next year. So get back this picture. So there are lots of jewelry and all oh, the beautiful. Look at, check out that piece. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. This is another one of your winners. Yay. <laughs> I got, I got one with this guy. It's good. Oh, I love like that. It's beautiful. So I think this is all beautiful lamp work, all blowing. Oh, 
And then over here we have a fusing film for glass and plastic. So we've got, just got to show you this from Lois, how great is her piece. It's so wonderful to see it in person as well. Um, Let's see, we'll go out to the gallery, I mean, you know what I was trying to see. On the way out, I'm going to show you guys this piece, because I just think that's extraordinary. Amazing. And look, the feathers are all um, uh, glass as well. So that's just extraordinary. So we're going to go over here. So there's lots of moulds, and um, this is for kind of art clay. They've got lots of moulds you can use for freeze and fuse as well. And great for jewellery as well. Um, really useful items here that you could use in fusing as well. And lots of jewellery barrels and things like that you can get. So really cool tools that if you're doing anything with your fused glass for jewellery, this is definitely <laughs> a brilliant place to buy stuff. Now we've got to go to Pacific Art Glass, who are my favourites. Met these guys, they are brilliant. Well, they're not my favourite. Everyone's my favourite, but love these guys. Where's my little Connor? He's not here. Damn it. They have their son, 20-year-old son working on. He's just such a nice guy. But look at these dichroic beauties. All water jet cut. They're thick so that you could just put a bale on the back of those. I bought some for my kids because I think they're just going to love them. Um, these are completely gorgeous. And look at these, these hearts and... So they have just so many. And like seven bucks, seven dollars, a beautiful shape like that. It's absolutely brilliant. We've got Melissa here, lovely, lovely lady from Pacific Island. John, the, uh, the leader of the clan. I want to know where Connor is. Have you let him have a like? Uh, I wanted Connor on my live feed. He's such a handsome young fella. He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> So look at how pretty and gorgeous those are. Wow. I just want to steal and eat more. I've been told I'm not allowed to eat glass. So we're going to go up here. And um, so um, Resist are the most amazing sandblasting company. I have, like, I have sandblast to porn. I can like, love with their sandals. They're completely brilliant and so high tech. Um, I have the simplest sandblaster in the world and it makes me want to have one of theirs. This is the one I want. Please can I have it for Father Christmas? Please can I have one of these? Uh, I'll be saving up for this beauty because it's fantastic. So it's amazing seeing these. And you get to kind of really see, there's one thing seeing stuff online and you're like, oh it's pretty but it's expensive. And actually getting to see the build quality of something like this and understand how simple it works. It's really useful to see, and you probably can't afford something like this now, but this is what you want to aim for, or it's little sister over here. And, you know, the sandblast is so, that's an awesome piece of kit. And um, just showing you the quality of sandblasting you can kind of do. So, yeah, you could make it for a 25, oh, I want to come back and do that later. A little piece, oh, I love this. Just completely gorgeous, gorgeous work. And it's good if you want to do kind of thicker bla uh, sandblasting and really do, you know, working your stuff away. Quite amazing. And um, this glass up here with the barbed wire, that's a really beautiful point of piece about war. So those are absolutely fantastic. And we've got some great other examples of the work using that product. Look at the depth of that piece. I'm not sure you can see that on the camera, but it's really clever. So it's absolutely fantastic getting to see this. Thank you, guys. Um, and the brand, so probably we've got um, Griffin, who is doing machines. We've got various different um, machines. These are fantastic. I don't, need, I don't know about these. Do you know about these? Yeah, they're grinders. They're these, grinders. Are, these are the grinders, and they've got band saws. And they're kind here. of on the smaller side, so they're kind of, I presume that they're good cost-effective um, products for, 
for uh, I have one of these. I love it. You love it? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. This is the one that I actually have in my house. And so that's like a bandsaw for glass. So that must be like, I think that must be like our XT in England, which is a really expensive product. And you can do shapes on that. Yes. And so that's awesome, that piece. So we've got all of their products. They've got... You can take credit card. Fantastic. You know, at least you can pick up your grinder to um, tops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep my cash. Two grinder bits, $20. You just cannot beat that price. Compared to how much, you know, any of you English guys out there, you can get a bargain over here. Right. Right, love. Right, right. Call Blimey, love, governor. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find someone over here. I'll be Sorry. definitely saying call Blimey, love, governor. Um, you got, got um, Covington. Covington. Sorry, my brain just went. Covington. Dan at Covington here, guys. You know, the, you know, we know these are the Ferraris of the uh, glass world, but you know, we can all cover to Covington and um, come and look at them. But they've got some good, you know, um, uh, hobbyist uh, st uh, size machines as well. Yesterday they had this guy showing his piece. The fantastic Jack had this piece here. It was amazing. I should have gone live yesterday and I could have shown you his piece. Super lovely guy. Super brilliant um, piece he had. It was extraordinary. I mean, I wasn't allowed to take shit, which I was like, I want to touch the piece. Um, over here, we have some more Dicro, beautiful Dicro. Hello, Ooh, let's have a look. We haven't seen this. Type. Oh, cool, how crazy is that? They're like record sleeves. And you can get a fantastic piece of Dicro in a record sleeve. Are you guys um, 90 COE, 96, or a bit of both? Both. So it's fantastic. And how much is one of those? So fifty dollars for a piece of dichro like that, guys. You cannot beat that. Wow, what a great price. So you know, thinking about coming next year. That's the you guys will be here next year. Absolutely. So you know, fantastic. <laughs> um, we've got the um, even heat. even heat kilns. Thank you. I have my. Beautiful and glamorous assistant helping me. My brain goes a bit. Those are great films. Love those. So they can tell you all about their products when you're here, and you can get a fantastic idea if you want to upgrade to the next film or even buy your first film. These guys can show you what they have, which are really beautifully built and spectacular films. Look how we did that. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't come back. I hope. There's no doubt about it. It's the jackpot, guys. Look, guys. I am like a Facebook. Good team. Good team. Look at that. You walk around the corner and you get to see these guys. <laughs> this is my Facebook Live. So, hey, listen, Miss Tabitha, I don't know what kind of witchcraft she does, but she showed us her work, and I... Thank you. I thought you. I was good at class, and I thought I had... You are oh, pretty fucking awesome. Tabitha does some wild, crazy stuff, and I don't know how she does it. So I might, be, I might be going to Croatia to visit her, so... Go look at which means how much does it cost? <laughs> He's really good at Croatia. But he almost died in a bar in Croatia, I so. almost died in a bar. It, was, it would have been an exciting way to go out. Yeah, look at party. that work. Oh, man. I have, you know... I'm no, I know many of you out there have done a Tim course, and it's pretty, pretty fantastic. To learn from the kick. So, we're going to carry on this. I want to talk more about how you should Yeah, we keep thinking that, like, we're going to find. Well, it's coming to this side, and we've got the Fuse Glass Fanatics um, Scholarship Fund. There was all these items which were on auction we had load auctioned off yesterday and here we have the guys from milkweed and we have also my favorite larry larry what are you doing here larry and we have warren warren come and say hello i'm going live on facebook showing everyone what it's like here at the expo 
So, you know, just checking it out. Me too. You're here early enough when you can still get to the booth. That's exactly. Yeah. And showing it. Is that, the, is that a, maybe a Mr. Chadwick there you have this on? This might be an Ian Chadwick. Oh, that's right. yeah. I mean, it might be an Ian Chadwick. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you get, oh, and here she is doing a demo. Can we see a little bit of a demo? Absolutely. And this is the kind of thing, you come around a corner and you have Lois here doing an amazing demo. So this is my product modeling glass. You I love modeling glass. glass. And you mix it with my binder and a liquid medium and a little bit of water. And you get a material that you can sculpt and work with like clay. So I'm building up a bow relief textured landscape here. And when this is fired, it will look like that. Wow, oh, how great is that? So it's there's such all a vast sorts of applications for this. Stuff. You see, I love the idea of this, and then you put a couple of marini at the front. Yes, and so absolutely. it's you know you're getting a, a more cost-effective product with Lois's modeling clay, and you can just use a couple of marini highlights. Yes. that makes it a super great you know um, product. Right. Love your stuff. Love your work as well. Thank you. I bought for my sister a feather for her birthday this year, and she absolutely loves it. Yes, yes, you, um, you sent her um, one of my feathers. Tonight. Yeah, I did, and yes. I, it was a Jay feather, because her, her name's Jemima, and I call her Jay. Oh, that's so perfect. So it was a, a Jay feather, and she was so pleased with it. I'll show you a photo later. Nice. So well, lovely to see you. By. Thank you so much for letting us stop by. Thanks. Over here we have Press Kilns, another fantastic kiln company. Hello guys, Hello. just going live on Facebook, showing people around. So this is great. Over here we have amazing Jen. I'm just going to Jen has taken over the Morton, um, uh, Morton with lives on uh, live on Facebook. Sorry. So um, has taken over the Morton system. She is uh, partnered with Toyo um, Cutters here on the booth. So you, can you buy Toyo Cutters and the Morton system here? You can buy it here. Fantastic. And so what is the Morton system? How much on, uh, um, is it for your basic system? Here? So the basic system is 125 and then the surfaces are $50. So that's amazing. And you can get that here. And the best thing about it is I have a Morton system. I have no idea how to use it. And I'm really, really, well, I, got, I got it in kind of, you know when you, someone sells off all their glass and they gave it to me with it and I'm like, and like, now they can come and learn how to use it properly. Also, if you're thinking of buying one, you also have the thing how to use the system and be taught to use it here which is absolutely fab so you can buy the Morton system you can buy your Toyo cutters here and for any English people thinking of coming damn sight cheaper buying them here than in England so you know and you can put it in your suitcase and take it home so it's a well worthwhile reason to come to this show um, so nice to see you they also have hand pads I might have to take a set of those home with me because mine seem to go my staff seem to think that I don't know what you call them in, in like scrubbing brushes and I find them scrubbing the dishes with my hand bath. Not that thrilled by that. Over here, sorry. Thank you so much. Very lucky my purse to say. With my passport and I'd have to take it Over here we have Barbara. Barbara, you're gonna to have to come and say hi my love, because I'm live on Facebook. I'm live on Facebook. Yes, so you all know Barbara from Silkmap, the best product ever. She's sold out, she's completely sold out, you can't buy it. So you're going to have to come here and make sure you're here on the first day to get Barbara's product. Were you, were you selling it at a good price? Absolutely. So yeah, come next year, you will get, well, she's going to bring double the Barbara for next year. She will bring more, she will have more product to sell. And she can also talk you through so things I didn't know. So she's taken this, which is you know your your, your sculpture. She's used skill, uh, silk mat to go over the top of it, and then cast into it with that. I I particularly love these ones. Look at those. They're so great. You can use it. You know everyone loves a bit of weaving. I should when we end up back on um, Colors for Earth, I'll show you Ginny's piece, and I think maybe she used silk mat to do her weaving, which is just awesome. You can do pop. You had a pop melt. You know, it's quite hard to get things to put melts. You put all your scrap in there. A lot of you want to put a lot of clear in, and then you can melt through into a pan like that, or you know, just onto a, a, a film wash shelf, and you end up with a fantastic pot melt. You can do your vitrigar pots. So make vitrigar pots if you want. You can make 
um, formers to do pattern bars. Formers to do pattern bars in them. Look at those. And then, of course, you can, most importantly, you can make your jellyfish. So you can do those with this product. So there you go. Fantastic, fantastic, versatile product. Silk Matt and Barbara have a most amazing resource on their um, Facebook page and channel that you can see all of these. You can do. I freaking love this product. I use it all the time for my work. See you later. Um, we have Pop Shop I'm just live on Facebook, so I've just got to carry on. Um, so we've got Ed Hoy, and obviously my purse has gone and had a bit of a history while I've been gone, but I think it's rescue. We have Ed Hoy here, so let's see what we've got, Ed Hoy. We've got beautiful um, uh, um, glass pebbles, 96. Um, we've got the sheet glass. And we've got some great stands as well. I think they've sold out a lot of their stuff as well. So, you know, you can come here and get those. These guys also do really good giveaways. I mean, they, didn't they have a giveaway, Eileen? Yeah, they did a kiln and a um, ring saw. So, so kiln and a ring saw. So you go into their, their um, raffle or whatever, or, you know, pull, pull a name out the hat. And you can they just get that if you are here. Um, next, we have... Um, technical uh, glass. I love these guys. These guys are amazing. Their booth didn't turn up till the day we started, and they got it up and they got it done. And these are just the best grinders. If you need a grinder, I just I cannot rate these highly enough. I know I haven't got one yet. I want to get one. Um, you, they also have the parts paper. They do those. These guys give awesome giveaways every day while you're here, so it's totally worth. Um, or not every day, maybe one day, but they give a really grinder, the Paris paper, and all sorts. Oh, that's great. We've got another guy here with glass tools. Um, he's got some Co Covington, some his glass works. So we're going to carry on around this way. Um, so this is your uh, um, We've got lots of beads down here. We've got the, guy, the guys from Twisted Cane who've got the 90 COE. Um, twisties, beautiful twisties, they just sold out. They've got nothing left here, um, which is awesome for them. They've got this fantastic technique she's showing using twister cane where you can slump it a little bit and just do something slightly different. And I loved how she did that. It was, she was showing it to me earlier. So you can come and buy fantastic twister cane here, which is awesome. <coughs> I'm just gonna, oh no, actually, we've got to go at the end of here because you've got. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we got, you know, so you can see you've got beads, you've got other glass things, <coughs> some souvenirs you can buy, um, uh, and and so there's some other cool things. So down here you've got um, CBS. Ah, uh, yes, coatings by Sandberg for all your dichroic, other dichroic needs. Look at all that great dichroic glass. I bought a few things from these guys and it's fantastic so definitely if you're thinking of coming from england it's much much cheaper getting it here than um than in england and even if you're in america it's a great place to do your shopping look at some of that oh yum 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 love it love it love it i love this piece i think that'd be great so look you know you've got your what do you call these guys fire strips fire strips, fire strips. We've got your um, scrap packs, which are just awesome. We use those in our <coughs> in our stringers. Um, and then you've got this, which I love, this one. Is the, um, the Fritz, so it's awesome. I bought some of those. And my other favorite product, which is the extract, which I just love, love, love this stuff. Oh, and you know, if you need some glow in the dark powder, they've also got the glow in the dark pigments. So that's pretty awesome. Um, Moving on, we have Olympic kilns doing their stuff, other fantastic kilns for sale. It's a great place to check out lots of different kiln models and see what might be the right kiln for you. Let's go to you English folk, but definitely for you Americans, we've got all the big kiln manufacturers here and you can see which one you like the most and see what they do. We have some um, burners here. I love these. This is the burners we have and we do our flame work on. We've only got the diddy diddy baby one. I think isn't even here anymore. We sold it, um, but they've got some. Look at the size of that. 
Is that for the big boys? So yeah, they're the best, best burners. Uh, love them. Uh, and then with more kind of, again, sort of um, things, we've got some more flame working kits over here for anyone doing flame working. Fantastic bits of kits. Um, so let's see who's over here. Let's see if we can find Shorty. Shorty's normally over here. Um, oh, there she is. Let's go find Shorty. Hey, hey, hey Shorty. Hey, Shorty. I'm live on Facebook. Can you say hi? Hi! Everyone, are they? Everyone knows Shorty. Hello. And I got to meet her for the first time. Okay, I got to go. <laughs> She's so busy. But these guys have masses of molds, which is awesome. Fritz. What have you got here, Shorty? You got Fritz, you got molds. We have Fritz, we got glass, we have stars, t shirts, t shirts, and let's say the best. Oh, they're the best. So, you know, come on, you get the best deals here. And more stuff! Yeah, and you get to meet Crazy Shorty. Hi. Hey, Shorty, do you have stuff? Stuff! <laughs> okay, get out! We're going, we're going! <laughs> so, we've got Shorty in the house. Then we've got these, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Books. Well, they do the molds. And molds. And, and they do some other um, interesting... Um, I love these molds, I think they're so clever. So that's cool, and particularly if you don't want to cut off the rims of your drop vessels, this is a really clever idea. So you end up with a nice vase without having to cut off the rim. So we're Facebook Live! We're Facebook Live, so we're showing everyone around what you can get here. Look at these t-shirts. Yep. And that's definitely before glass, after glass. That's Yay! Shorty. That's all of it. And there's even more. I think Shorty must have basically designed all these t-shirts because they are so high humor. If I wore t-shirts, I know where I'd be getting mine from. I'm just going to go beautiful beautiful beads and other jewelry here as well um, but... he's wandering so you get to enjoy come on be facebook live this is joy this is joy this is joy, this is joy. okay so she doesn't want to be on facebook live and that's what joy does look at look these are beads guys these are glass fucking beads sorry glass i've got tourette's because I'm that tired, and I'm, as you can hear, I'm losing my voice. These are beads. Look at that. That is a hedgehog bead. I'm buying this. No, I want it. No, it's mine. It's yours. Damn it. But I bought an octopus with, look, I bought one like this, which is basically an octopus, which has its own little kind of fish tank around it. Look at the, da I mean, this stuff is exquisite. In fact, I'm, that's not the one I want to show you. I want to show you this one up here, because it's got Nemo's in it. Look at that. You've got the Nemo's, you've got the octopus, you've got the, I can't get the camera to focus, but yeah, there you go. That is just extraordinary. And she does such beautiful things. You get like one of these beads for, for like 15 bucks. The other ones are more expensive, but they are amazing. And I'm gonna have to nick that hedgehog before the guy buys it, because it's so, so cute. Uh, just brilliant. So you can pick up, you know, some extraordinary art here as well, which is just brilliant. We've got more beautiful people selling there, fantastic beads. Look at those. And beautiful Chris. Oh, big, so, pink shark. So fun. Who doesn't need a pink stuff. shark in their life? You can, you can just go right inside that one. Wow, look at that. You can, just jump, you can jump down that marini if you want. Go fall in the hole. So there we go, we're going to carry on over here. We've got Black Patterns Quarterly. For any of you who haven't signed up and subscribed to theirs, they do brilliant. Is it, how often do you send your, I'm on live on Facebook, sorry. How often do you send your, do you do a, an issue? Is it every two months? Well, it depends on the publication. 
Okay. So we've got we've got two that are four times a year and one that's six times a year. So this is six times a year. Okay, glass art, hot, warm, and cold glass. Okay. And so this is high end. Uh, let's say gallery quality work featuring the artists and what they do. So no matter what you do, even if you do a different type of glass, you can always, it's like eye candy inspiration. You can always apply what you see to the level you're at for what you do. Oh, well, that's brilliant. And then we come down. Which is for stained glass and fluorescent. Oh, and the cleanest centerfold of any magazine on the planet because we have always full size patterns of the tutorials. That's awesome. And we have the flow. Okay. And the flow is clean. So if you like to play with fire, this is the same. Again, you have a you have features of that well known artists. No, and I was also using my free magazine. I subscribed wow. just now. You just can't. So, look. That's we awesome. Can Thank you so much for showing us. So, if you don't know about glass patterns, uh, go and check it out and see what they're doing. It might be the thing for you to learn a bit more. Um, we're going to go around here. No, in fact, I think we're nearly done. We can cut this paragon here, um, and then we're back over to our stand, where hopefully my my purse has been rescued. And not been, uh, not been abandoned. So it's pretty big. Here's Paragon. Everyone knows them. As I said, all the big hitters here for the kilns. If you can come, and the guys will tell you all about the kilns and what they've got and what they think is not for you. So it's definitely worth it. And as I said, this, this I mean, how many classes? Hundreds of classes you can get there. They have so many. There. I didn't realize how big it was until yesterday, where I found a whole other area and they were doing classes on. There's lists and lists. They're probably about three hours, most a lot of them are either a morning or an afternoon, some of them are longer. You can do as many classes in as few as you want. It's just a great experience to come here and see all of this. And you know what's the best thing is? It's hanging out with other glass folk. Being with them, being inspired by them, being enthused by them. I haven't been this enthusiastic about glass in a long time because of all the amazing people I've met here. Thank you all so much for taking your time to come and see me and give me a hug, give me a squeeze, take a photograph of me. I so appreciate you all doing that and, um, and getting to meet so many of you. So thank you, thank you. And I hope you've enjoyed the four rounds. We're going to finish off in the we can't finish off the But, you know, Colors for R, if you don't know Colors for R, check them out. Brilliant, brilliant products. She's got new tutorials out. Paula is so generous with how she makes all of this. You can check out her YouTube channel. On her website, she has tutorials on how to make these different product um, uh, pieces and what to, you know, what to do with her products. Um, I'm just going to show a few, a few of her products. This is the Bubble Art series. I'm going to get Eileen because Eileen understands it much better than I do. But check this out. That's so cool. I want to put this on my under the sea um, pieces. And um, I mean, she was brilliantly picking up. Imagine that with a load of fish meat on it. That would be awesome. I'm like, mm, I want to get some of that to do some bubble art. Um, but it's kind of, which is, you know, different types of her products together. You can get this brilliant mosaic theme. I love, this is probably my favorite sample. You've got the G-Series as what we use. These are your enamels, so they actually stick to glass so they can be capped or uncapped. And you've got the Sparkle series. You can see them capture uncapped or the glitz series, which are the glitz are the intense ones that are in the bottom of the shape. Those are really, really beautiful. We've got the color. So these ones you have to mix. Um, this is pouring, which is another idea. These ones you have to pick from their powders. You mix with a medium, um, which are Paula cells, the best medium to mix them with. And you can just mix the amount you need to use to use those. You've also got your color concentrates that you, um, that you don't have to mix. They're already in a bottle. I'm just going to push past the amazing corner. Corner of one, these have to be capped. Yes. So these have to be capped. But they're already on the floor. They're a non enamel. A non enamel. She keeps saying that to me like she knows what I, I think she knows what I mean. So they have no glass in them. So you have to have them. Then look at that. So you can take them. This is thin fire, and she's used a stamp um, with her enamels to stamp on, you know, this flower. And then she's painted the flower with this. You put the thin fire between two pieces of glass. You need to make sure you have a, an area around the edge so it can seal. I think Paula said she put a bit of stringers in the areas so that 
basically when you know your bubble squeeze you want to do a long bubble squeeze and you hold up the edges so that the middle goes in and down and the air slowly pushes out and then she took it up to her full fuse the white is actually you know when your thin fryer burns off you end up with a white powder residue if you cut this in half with a tarsal you would see that that was white powder and it would actually come out as white powder but because it's all sandwiched together you end up with this beautiful thing imagine what you can do with that um, I'm going to call it to quickly explain, or to explain, explain this um, you have new technique. Can you give us a demo? Sure. So this is Paula doing this demo, and um, on what she's been um, showing everyone. Uh, this, this. We'll do it. We can just chat away while we're waiting. It's called. It's called wing it. I've got a white piece of glass, I've got a stencil that I've attached. I'm going to take our low fire, no fire piping paste. And I'm going to have to get you to talk up a bit. I know that's hard because we're all losing our voices. You want me to talk louder with no voice? <laughs> Try. All right, so I'm going to take some of it out and then I'm going to tint it. You can tint it with the color concentrates, which she was just showing you. You can tint it with your enamels that are pre-mixed already. And you never go more than two parts paste to one part color. You can go 50-50, but you start breaking down the stand-up capability of the product. So mix that up. And anytime you add it to the pit white, you're going to get a pastel. Then what I'm using is a synthetic nylon brush that we carry. It's the number 1426. And I'm just going to gently get that out of the way. Gently get this over the top of the stencil. Just very lightly. You're not pushing down hard. You're just filling that in. It's like applying cake icing. Make sure you go all different ways. Then you, if you wanted to, even while this is wet, you could sprinkle or sift on your different sparkles. And then you would take your stencil off and you have a textural piece. And then you can show them. All right, guys. How cool is that? She was doing some yesterday, which were in like blue and green, which were super, super pretty. Really love those. But I love the kind of textural feeling of this. You and caught me off guard. I I'm sorry. <laughs> and we've got the, the um, I know the video went out yesterday, the day before, Friday, Friday doing this fantastic, um, beautiful horse piece. It, I mean, I don't want to, you know, say that it's not absolutely beautiful work, but this is so simple to do. This is just so simple to do really quick and easy using a stencil awesome awesome product i think this works brilliantly because for me you guys know i get tina to do the enameling work i used to do the enameling work on my piece the other day and i was like it took me about three guys and i normally get tina to do it because it's, it's the idea of painting things is like oh, i don't know how to paint i'm not a painter I don't know so this is a way of using enamels when you don't have to have the skills like all of us of painting such beautiful things i mean i just want to show you I don't even see the depth in this piece. It is just stunning. And this other one, she sold this to someone. But look how beautiful the colours in that. The great thing about Paula and how she does her work is she works in layers. So the colour is on the white piece of glass in the background. And then she's put the clear piece on top and done the black lining on that. And she has these great... Um, ways of doing very simple black lines. It's the squeezy bottles, isn't it? She uses the squeezy uh, bottles to do the, the black lines. Uh, or, a, or a quill pen. Or a quill pen. So she has everything you need. She's got great brushes, the quill pen, the squeezy, you know, she has everything. So go check out her website. I'm pretty sure she ships worldwide. So, you know, go check her out. Guys, I hope this has been fun. I hope you learned to like and see. We have to see Kathy. Oh, Kathy is the queen. She has been amazing. She's been on the till. She's been tirelessly working away and taking all of the, uh, the orders. And guys, if you happen to be in Vegas and you happen to have not come here yet, please come and see us today. Come buy some more Colorsworth products. Get the sales up. We need the last few sales to make Paul and me and happy ladies because we like to know that this has been a success. And if you've ever been, next year is definitely the year to come. Think about it now. I think the dates, I know it's the first weekend in April, so I think it's like the 5th, 4th, 5th and 6th of April or something like that. So put it in your diaries now. Know that it's time to um, get it in your diaries. And I'm trying to get Mr. Chadwick 
to come in and wish everyone a happy goodbye. He's going, he's leaving on a jet plane. Goodbye everyone, I'm flying back to the UK today, so it's been fun. And thanks to Tabitha for kind of inviting me here. But um, all, all the stars aligned for my event, so it's been fun. It's been amazing. It's been great to meet everyone in the Palace Perth store and all the other things. We've had a blast, so thank you so much for joining us. Remember, next year, be here or be square or be cool or whatever it is. But you know, we want you here, we can't wait to see you all. And until next time, happy fusing! <laughs>